It is the year 1862, and the Union is threatened by Southern rebels coming close to the nation's capital. A merchant's organization called the Corn Exchange recruits 700 new volunteers. They become the 118th Pennsylvania Volunteers Corn Exchange Regiment. The regiment has little time for training before being called to the front. They march for four days through the relentless sun to the Maryland campaign. The regular army looks down on the volunteers, but they will prove their worth. At Antietam, the corn exchange is held in reserve. Two days after that bloody battle, the northern general sends the regiment to the Potomac, giving chase to the southern soldiers. Forty-one regiments of Southerners mass on the bluffs to stop the outnumbered Northerners. The Northern General senses a mismatch and orders his troops to withdraw. Colonel Prevost of the Corn Exchange Regiment never receives the message through proper channels. Among the thousands of Northerners, the Corn Exchange alone stands firm. Many of the regiments and field rifles fail in this, their first battle. The troops falter, then fix bayonets and rally under Colonel Prevost's waving flag. Amazingly, the Corn Exchange Regiment holds 41 Southern regiments at bay for 30 minutes, preventing the Southern forces from counterattacking the vulnerable Northern troops. Finally, the valiant Colonel Prevost is injured. Lieutenant Colonel Gwynn takes the command and receives the order to retreat. Chaos ensues as the overmatched regiment is released. 250 members of the Corn Exchange Regiment fall in their first battle, but the Confederates suffer just as many casualties. As one soldier said, it was a fair stand-up fight against enormous odds and the enemy was punished as severely as we suffered ourselves. On that day, the 118th Pennsylvania, the Corn Exchange Regiment, was flashed into that fiercely lighted flame of recognition, which it never lost, until it saw take place, under its own eyes, the Confederate Army's surrender at Appomattox.